I'm Rod Ferguson. I'm the studio head of the Coalition. We make Gears 5. And today we're going to be talking about intimate combat. Because, I mean, who doesn't enjoy intimate combat? There'll be some finger fluttering and some pen scrapings, and hopefully you'll get a good night's sleep after watching. So we're going to be talking about how we changed the AI in Gears 5 to do away with the leave you alone and come back problem. In Gears, what would happen is that there's a difficulty setting that says how quickly you can get finished when you're down. And so if you're on casual, it can be pretty long. So here you can see he's going to down you, and then stupidly he's going to run away because he's actually on a timer that says you can't kill him yet, and we'll come back later and then finish him off when the timer's up. Like this. What we wanted to do instead was turn that time instead of a run away and come back. We wanted to make it intimate. So now they get on top of you <laughs> and they beat the living hell out of you. And so what that does is it fills the time up and makes it action oriented and feels more threatening. And so now you can have this, we put in counters, we actually put in a co-op counter where someone can come up and save you. So you'll see this in the struggle. Then there's when you're already down. So that's the standing struggle. This is the down struggle. So there's like, this is actually the head, right? So we have like, oh no, I lost my head. Here you're gonna see a person go down and while they're about to be their head ripped off, they're gonna have a teammate come along. That's gonna hurt in the morning. But now your life is saved. Thank God you're playing co-op. I hope you've enjoyed this moment of intimate combat with me and I hope you have a good night's sleep and remember tomorrow will be a better day. Especially if you play Gears 5.